Thank you, Speaker. Um, it's an honour again to rise in the House on behalf of the Liberal Caucus to recognize March 21st as the International Day for Racial Discrimination. And, you know, as I said in my earlier statement, Speaker, this day um, is born out of uh, a situation that we would never want to see repeated in our world, and that is the apartheid regime that was in South Afri Africa. But also, Speaker, on this day, we have to reflect on the state of our world. And uh, the President of Ghana has declared uh, this year, 2019, as the year of return, uh, 400 years since the first slave ship left the shores of Ghana. And it's, uh, it's an opportunity for us to, to, to think about um, the impacts that that has had on people of African descent and the diaspora who are, have, have since settled in, uh, in Canada, in the US, in the Caribbean, and, and really all over the world. Uh, we also know that there are effects of modern slavery that is in place and that we need to stand up and, uh, and, and make sure that our world um, is rid of this scourge. Speaker, yesterday I had an opportunity to join young people uh, for a program that was celebrating something that the Ontario Child Advocate Office initiated, and it's called Her Story. It was an opportunity to look at the impact of our children's aid society and how it actually uh, responded to the needs of racialized children in care, uh, specifically black youth. And the, the program uh, was remarkable. It was expressed in the voice of young people, and it really told their story about how a system of care does not have the lens of diversity and culturally appropriate responsiveness that is needed. And this program allowed uh, young black students to really um, to connect with their roots. And in fact, uh, the documentary that was shown is called Her Story Roots. One of the, the sad things about this speaker is that we no longer have the Office of the Child Advocate in place. And programs like this are very much at risk unless the government of the day stands up and responds to the needs of diverse, uh, racialized young people who are in the care of Children's Aid who are crying out, literally, with tears to say that this system needs to recognize them, needs to respond to their unique needs and to support them. So I would say, Speaker, on this day, the International Day for the Elimination of Racism, that we should think about the policies and the programs that we have in place and how it impacts the racialized communities across Ontario and what can we do to change and to adapt to make sure that everyone feel, gets the support that they need, feels supported, and when there are things that need to be changed, that, Mr. Speaker, that we take action and we change those things. We have to remember that this day was born out of a past that was wrong. What happened to the 69 victims in Sharpeville uh, was wrong in South Africa. What is happening today when it comes to um, what happened in Christchurch, New Zealand, where uh, 50 people, were, lives were taken as a result of their race and their religion is wrong. And as leaders, we have to stand up and we have to make sure that we not only do we say and express those things that demonstrate that all people have a shared humanity, all people belong in this province, all people in this province have to also feel that they are included and that they are receiving the support that is important to them. So, Speaker, in my last uh, few seconds, um, this is a day of remembrance. March 21st is a day of remembrance. As legislatures, it's important that we not allow this day to pass without marking this occasion and recognizing that we are all connected by our shared humanity and that we all, um, despite our differences in our background, uh, we have a common humanity that connects us all. Thank you, Speaker.